Yeah, I got a uh, 2003 Century Class Freightliner. I'm gonna do this video. I'm kind of going through stuff, cleaning this truck out, getting it ready to go on the road after I bought it. Uh, when I purchased this truck, the uh, the latch, oh, the door was actually just stuck open. Okay, so it was just stuck up like that. So this door over here, it basically didn't function. Like you had to reach out to the uh, reach out and uh, push it back in there. You have, you would have to reach out the window to close the door. So I'm gonna show y'all what the inside of this mechanism looks like. If any of y'all just use the truck like this, this is what the door panel off. This is what the mechanism looks like. And mine, I can see why it was hanging into the, it was just hanging in the door. These both are broken off. So as you can see back here, either pla it's in plastic, they sheared off. So they were already broken. So this was just hanging inside. That's why the door wasn't working. And so I, I took the two bolts out of here and I just, and I don't know why they weren't attached up here. Okay, so it's supposed to be four bolts total. I had no bolts in the top and then these two were already broken. So I got it and I, I'm gonna, Put it back in when i get done cleaning this door off and see if it'll open and close the door but if any of y'all having issues with a uh, century class as y'all can see this is decades of uh well a decade almost two decades worth of grit and grime inside of this door panel so got the old clorox bleach i'm gone and uh finish up here I was almost thinking about just leaving it bare and putting like a piece of sheet metal over the, covering the whole thing with like a piece of sheet metal, old school hot rod style. But uh, I had to put something down here uh, because it seems like this weather stripping, I think it attaches to the bottom of the, that little groove in the panel down there. So I have to give it a little bit more thought before I do that. But. Any of y'all that have ever done this, y'all know it's a pain in the ass to, to deal with this thing. So I had to, uh, I'm rekeying this truck. So if you ever rekey your Freightliner lock, you have to, uh, you're gonna pull this little, well, first you're gonna pry this piece out right here with a, with a screwdriver. You're gonna pluck that up, okay? So you'll pluck that out of there, boom. It's just like a U and it locks, it locks this, uh, uh, do I have the old key in here? Uh, it'll lock this in. Oh, this is the wrong one. Well, dang, I bought the wrong key. That's hilarious. Uh, we'll... This is what the door keys look like see so you'll put it in here you'll come in this way so you're going to be putting in door in and this piece right here is actually going to uh, it's going to go, you see those grooves it will actually slide into these grooves on both sides and that'll that's what's going to hold your key that's what's gonna hold your cylinder into the door, okay? This piece right here. Then you just have to pluck this little clip off the back. Try not to destroy it when you do it. I don't think you get one in a bag. So you're gonna have to reuse that. You plug this little clip off then you can take the mechanism off and then you just slowly pull the cylinder out of there and uh, you know, put the new one in there and replace this. And, Replace that and you're good to go. This is your lock. This rod. This is where your door open would go. Okay. And this is the mechanism for your door open. So this is the inside of a Freightliner Century Class door. Okay. So that's how it looks. All the actions down here. So, you know, like I said, if you ever want to rekey it, you're going to have to pull this off. You're going to have to pull the panel off to get in here and rekey this door. So, good luck.